Atlanta attorney David Lee Windisher knows where he came from. He's back in Miami in 1996. But he wants others to know too. It was all necessary because I wouldn't be able to do the things I do now had I not been through those experiences. His journey to becoming a lawyer didn't go the way it did for most. He grew up in Miami, the son of Argentinian immigrants, and learned about the justice system firsthand with an arrest at age 11. I was put on probation and then the vicious cycle started. His family lived in poverty, so he turned to selling drugs and joined a gang. At 16, he dropped out of school, and by the time he hit 19, he'd racked up 13 arrests. You can name it, I got charged with it. Do you think he didn't care at that point? I lost hope. I didn't care about anything. I just knew that poverty was going to be my demise, and if I didn't do anything to overcome being broke, um, no one was going to help me. Getting locked up got old, and he says watching his siblings head down the path he'd created inspired him to change. Personally, I was saved. I found my faith, and that changed everything for me. But going straight wasn't easy. So once I stopped gangbanging, I had a lot of retribution come my way. So for years, I kind of hid in the shadows of my community. Laying low, David spent his next several years catching up on school and pursuing a career in an area he was very familiar with. I saw how the criminal justice system was functioning and it didn't make any sense to me. He applied to 50 different law schools and was rejected from 49, all except Atlanta's John Marshall School of Law. Now a licensed attorney in Georgia and Florida, David has found a way to pursue his own American dream by pulling himself up and reaching back for others. So the goal is to understand who you are, what you want to become. David created RED, Rehabilitation Enables Dreams, a nonprofit organization meant to help young nonviolent offenders. The 12 month program connects them with relatable mentors like coordinator Zeus Luby. What's critical is establishing an initial bond. And so to do that, one must create a bridge of relatability to let them know and understand that there's somebody in the program that understands. Information is powerful. They work to build hope and confidence, offering civil, financial, and continuing education options, helping finding jobs and the possibility of a clean record when it's all said and done. These folks help me out, so they'll do the same for you. The program has helped dozens like Andre Jones. Mm, it's really like a motivator because, I mean, a lot of people that we come in contact with, their stories are a lot worse than ours. So it's like if they can make it, you can make it. A change inspired by David's story and his life's work. It's, it's shocking to think that this, is the, this life that I'm living now started where it started. Jennifer Bellamy, 11 Alive News.